Hello. Today I want to give you an overview about the application procedure for Castro's President PhD Fellowship Program. Hope this video will help you to prepare your application materials properly because every year around 40% scholarship application are rejected due to faulty submission or due to lack of required documents. Castro's is uh, funded by Chinese Academy of Science and the World Academy of Science. Every year, 200 scholars are selected for the fellowship program to study in China, and only two universities will accept those students. The University of Chinese Academy of Science, UCAS, and another one is University of Science and Technology of China, USTC. UCAS will get uh, 140 students, and uh, USTC will get only 60 students. And uh, you need to apply these two universities separately. And uh, the application form is also different. You will find the application form below on the website. But the important thing is that you can't apply two universities at one time. You must need to choose one university. So the first step for this scholarship is that you need to find your supervisor. So how to find a supervisor? You can just click here to find a supervisor from UCAS or you can click here to find a supervisor from USTC. Just you click here then this page will come then you can click here you will find the name of the law school professor you can click here so then you can read it if you are interested and the professor research area is similar or more similar then you can send an email about the Castor's scholarship and keep trying send email to many professor this is the one way another way is that you can go to the CAS Institute because uh, uh, UCAS has a law of institute all over the China there are many institutes but uh, for USTC, they won't, they, they, this is only a university. They don't have any any institutes. It's, uh, I think they only have uh, two campus, but they don't have any institute. Then you can click here. You will find lots of institute. From there, you can also find your professor. So when you got your professor, make a good proposal prepare a good proposal and uh, if you make your proposal good then you need to apply now click here then this page will appear you need to log in so here is my page i also logged in then if you go ucas then you need to just for ucas just only you need to apply for the ucas you can't apply in a two university if you want to ustc then you must need to just go for ustc you can't apply to ucas at one time and you should not apply at a two university at one time be careful so here you continue then you will need to input all of your data your proposal your application form your physical application form so the important thing i want to mention that when you will find your supervisor then you are lucky so make a proposal so when your proposal is ready just you need to fill up the one-line application form 
So you put your name, your address, your all the details, and the last of the application form. You need to upload the copy, scan copy of your bachelor and master certificate, bachelor and master transcripts. But make sure, make sure that all the scan copy would be the notarized copy or would be the notarized copy okay if you upload non-notarized copy your application will be rejected so after uploading your notarized copy then you must need to input the email address and uh, the name of a two referee this two referee maybe from your master degree or maybe from your maybe from your bachelor degree or some renowned people and uh, when you are going to input your referee's email address make them sure that uh, they are available and the email address is valid this is one, one of the major reason for rejecting the application form so you need to remind your referee that you are going to submit their name as a referee. So when you upload your notarized copy, your email address of the referees and your application form, when you click the submission, then your referee will get two separate email from the system about the recommendation about your recommendation then they will upload their recommendation online and uh, you tell them to sign the recommendation letter and send it back to yuka's office i mean the castro's office in china it's also a very important thing when your referee uploaded their recommendation later in the online system is okay but after uploading the copy you must need to make sure that they also send this copy by email by address by postal address to the yuka's office so when you uh, uploaded your system uploaded your materials in the system when you click submission your referee will get two message for your recommendation later and your supervisor will also get a link then your supervisor can read all your application system then your supervisor will uh, upload his recommendation later in the system this is the uh, your supervisor's duty please remind him after your submission please remind him okay and uh, when uh, he will submit his recommendation later and uh, there is maybe some other papers the, the system will be okay then he needs to print out all the documents okay your supervisor your supervisor will print all the document you don't need to do anything okay it's your supervisor responsibility to do everything so for you you need to make sure that everything is going well from first to last because finding a supervisor is your responsibility okay you find him no problem then you make a proposal okay fine you did it then it's your term application system make your application system fine upload the proper documents make sure your referees email address is correct tell them to upload your recommendation letter and also tell them to send the hard copy hard copy of the recommendation later to the castro's office at china then your part is finished 
just you remind your supervisor that you have uploaded everything then your supervisor will do his part okay he will do his part you don't need to do anything he will do everything then your supervisor will print all your documents for the system and send to cashless office in china so this all the application process but you must need to remember that the scan copy of notarized copies the scan of notarized copies provide the valid email of your referees make sure that your referee are available to give you recommendation within the fixed date and tell them to send the recommendation letter the hard copy of the recommendation letter to cast to us office they must need to upload it in the one line system and another one they will send to the cast to us office then when everything is done then you ask then remind your supervisor that you have uploaded everything then just remind him then he will do everything he knows everything okay so this all about the application process so if you have any question or any comments or any suggestions or any query you can find me on my facebook page md ramim tanvi rahman or you can send me an email here i will try to help you from my experience and uh, best of luck guys and uh, welcome to beijing i'm also from beijing okay see you take care